My name is Dr. Pedro Vasaki. First, I'm very Nigerian, born to parents from the Midwest. I'm half Benin, half Urubo, half Ura, Oma. I'm a federalist, but I truly believe, as many of us in the Midwest movement firmly believe, that Nigeria needs to be fundamentally restructured, or else there might be an implosion of seismic proportions. Why are we pushing the Midwest agenda? It is not that we are primarily seeking a Midwest republic, no. That is not our primary mission, but that could happen by default. We appreciate and propagate the uniqueness of the ethnic minorities that constitute the south-south zone of Nigeria. But we want to make it clear that we are first a duo delta. We are uniquely Bendel of the Midwest region, and we are comfortable in the Niger Delta. But however, either within the larger Nigerian Federation or within a closer South-South Niger Delta configuration, we are strongly presenting a unique Midwest front as the legitimate fourth region of Nigeria. And let's not lose sight of facts and history. First and foremost, all geopolitical zones of Nigeria today, the South-South, North-East, North-West, South-West, South-East, are all political arrangements that have no constitutional backing. But the Midwestern region remains the only constitutionally created federating unit in this country. Other units, whether regions or states, were created either by the British, as done by the 1947 Richards Constitution, or singularly by military fiats and decrees by military dictators. That is a historical and constitutional fact. The Midwestern region was created in August 1963, after the July 13, 1963 referendum or plebiscite. So the only constitutional provision for creating or delineating any federating unit is via a plebiscite or a referendum. And in the case of the Midwest, the people spoke. And that is what gave birth to the Midwestern region when 89.09% of the population voted yes. This is unprecedented in this country. So the Midwest movement is a vanguard for the Edo and Delta peoples. Our mission is very fluid. It is more or less an ideology, the Obendel ideology, a way of life that is distant. We believe that there must be a structural dismantling of the Nigerian Federation as it is presently constituted. But in doing that, we are presenting formidable and reasoned arguments based on history, culture, heritage, geography, and a shared communality. A communality that never succumbed to unhealthy ethnic bickering prior to the creation of both Delta and Edo states from Bendel or the Midwest. If there were any, they were minima and never in our faces. Mokwaka, Bomonyurubo, and Benin. But I speak Urubo, and I do that comfortably, like millions of Edo and Delta peoples. When we started, the first premier and chief executive of the Midwestern region was from the minority Anioma and Neocha Oshemeli area, in the person of Chief Dennis Chukude Osadebe, who was born in Asaba. And this was not a problem for us at all. Our first ceremonial governor was Chief Jeriton Mariere, an Urubo man born in Evreni. The deputy premier was Honorable John e Pre Otobo, an Isoko man from Uzere, and the first speaker was the Honorable P.K. Tabiowo and his own man from Western Niger Division. In the Second Republic from 1979 to 1983, a minority from Ekbo Mainisa land, Professor Ambruzali, was governor, and his deputy was Chief Demas Akbore, the famous educationist who hailed from Orogu in the old Eastern Robo Division. And the speaker was not Ishakiri, Isako, Robo, or Ukwani. It was Chief Benson Alebe, a lawyer from Ura in Owa. And his deputy speaker was the Honorable Francis Pana Okbozo from Isoko. Now, this unique political engineering is still unrivaled in the larger Nigerian Federation. So, we believe that the Midwestern region and its peoples must be appreciated. Whether Ura, Izon, Ishekiru, Robo, Kwani, Sokoika, Bendelibo, Bini, Isa, Isa, Kwakukwedo, we are one. And with all these clamors and sabar rattling from all corners of Nigeria, East, West, North, we had better be left alone. Because really, just barely two and a half years after independence, the Midwest was born. So, we cannot be wished away. Or worse still, merged into some geographical contraptions that are being banded around on social media or in private discussions. That will never happen. So we want to make it abundantly clear that the Edo and Delta, Bendel or Midwest peoples will not be used as cannon fodder nor become the collateral damage in case there are any conflagrations or conflict in deciding the future of the units that presently constitute the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Because we protect our people who have all lived together peacefully for centuries. Our teaming and creative youth, both at home and abroad, must be vigilant and our leaders must be prepared. No one can mortgage our future, either within the Nigerian Federation or outside of it. The Midwest is not Biafra. We are not Odudua. We are the Bendel or Midwestern peoples of Nigeria. The restructuring of the Nigerian Federation is inevitable, but it must equitably and justifiably take into prime cognizance the geographical, cultural, and sociopolitical position that are peculiar and unique to the Midwest. And to my brothers, I say, I Shakiri de Demokiara, O Giamme, Swo, Igani Swani Oma, Akain Kodi, Umuoke, Obueshi Obueshi Nwo, Otok Wike Nwo, Ogene Nwo, Eimiome Wado, Imoni Me Wado, Urobo Wado, Isoko Wado, Ah, Izon, Ah, Ukwani Nwani, Osukwani Nwani, Esa Oye, O Baratope, I 
Peace. Oh, bendé.